Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a whole thing full of empties and I wanted to like put more empties in there because I thought it wasn't enough because a lot of them are like big containers and stuff like that, but the drawer would not close any longer. So I am forced to show you guys my empties now. <laughs> All right guys, so let's just get started. First things first, I have a Garnier Nutrice. This is my hair dye, uh, the Nourishing Coloring Cream, and I got the color Darkest Golden Brown this time. And this is like the dark brown, but it's kind of like a little bit, like it shines a little bit more, you know what I mean? I had been dyeing my hair like with the darkest brown, but since my hair was already really dark, it was kind of like turning even darker. So I don't know if you guys can tell. I think I'm probably gonna have to do another one of these for it to like go into like a dark brown color because it looks really black now, right? So I've been wanting to like turn it, like put it like a chocolate type color. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, so yeah, I love the Garnier Nutrice color creams, nourishing color creams. I've always used this dye, I love it. And yeah, I would definitely repurchase it obviously. Next thing is I have a couple of these from all different brands. I've got, Okay, I think that's all I have. I have the Tides Pods. I have the Gain Flings in the original. And I also have the Gain Flings with Tropical Sunrise Febreze. And I can tell you guys, I really like these, but the ones that work well are the ones that have Febreze already in them. If they don't have Febreze in them, they totally suck. And I don't know why that is, but they do. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. My husband doesn't like these, to tell you the truth. <laughs> He's like, I hate those little pod things. Get the detergent, but it's it's so annoying. Like, I like these so much more better, but they do have to have Febreze. If they don't have Febreze in them, they don't make your clothes smell at all. And I don't know. It kind of leaves them a little bit dirty. So they kind of have to perfect that. These are okay. So that's that. And now, speaking of laundry... I actually thought I had more of these. Guys, I've already talked talked about this. I spoke about it in my October favorites. The, why is it that I can't talk well today? I'm like, bleh, 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 bleh. it's weird. Okay. These are the Gain Fireworks in-wash scent boosters in Tropical Sunrise. This is like a jumbo size, and these are like two smaller sizes. I love these things, guys. If you want your laundry to smell well, definitely use these beads they're so good they leave my laundry smelling like heavenly so i totally recommend them and i suggest you guys go out and get you some of these yes you will not you will not i repeat you will not be sorry you will not regret it <laughs> i love these guys these are great the next thing is my St. Ives Purifying Sea Salt Exfoliating Body Wash, and I absolutely love this thing. I have repurchased it. I will repurchase it. I love this. Oh, God, this smells so good. It smells like clean. It's like when something smells like clean, but it also has that extra smell of just like goodness, and it's just like so good. That's what this smells like. I can't even explain it. I'll definitely repurchase it, but I do want to use some other body washes and body gels that I have. That's like my new thing. I need to use things up before I repurchase anything that I love. So I can like start, you know, using things up and getting rid of them. But yes, I love this. I used up a Crest Pro Health Advanced um, mouthwash, and this is with Extra Deep Clean, and this was the purple one. I believe I got this from, who was it, Influencer? Or was it someone else? I can't remember. It was either Influencer or another one of those like review boxes. And this is awesome. I love it. It's awesome. I would definitely repurchase. I just have like a Listerine that I need to use up. And after that, I will definitely repurchase. I do like the purple formula. Oh, I think I got this from, 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 from Buzz Agent. Buzz Agent. Yes, that's where I got this one from. So if you guys don't know what that is, I will link it down below. Um, it's kind of like influencer you receive products complimentary so you can um, give reviews on them and you go on their website and you keep up your little like quizzes and questionnaires and things like that and they send you products to review and you just review them on the website so this is great you can review them on the website on Twitter you know things like that and it's great and I loved this 
Next thing is a Downy April Fresh um, fabric softener, and I got this in Influencer in the Pumpkin Box Box. This was good for 12 loads. I do like the Downy fabric softener. It smells good. The only problem that I have with fabric softeners is that it smells good like in the laundry. Once you put them in the dryer, forget it. It's gone. There's no more smell. And I feel like with the wash beads, it's tougher for like the dryer to not let the clothes smell. How do I explain it? Like this has more power than this does. I don't know. But yeah, I like it. Downy always smells really good. I just wish it was better. Thank God I've been able to use up a bunch of the things that I've been wanting to use up. Does that make sense? Like lotions. Um, this one was a gift from one of my friends. Oh, I just spit. This one was like just like a little hand-me-down from one of my friends. She used to use this for diaper cream, like for her son. And then he stopped using diapers, so she gave it to me. And then I had it like there in like the boys' diaper bin. And I hadn't used it because my boys have been off diapers for a while. But, you know, sometimes they can get burned when they go to the bathroom. So I ended up using it. This was very nice. It was like a very sticky formula. It's the Remedy with Phytoplex Z-Guard Skin Protectant Paste. And it says, nourishes skin, helps treat and prevent diaper rash, wet and cracked skin. And it says, hypoallergenic, non-sensitizing. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess it's like natural. It doesn't really have any type of smell. It's just a thick white cream. So we used that up. I used up some contact lenses, and these are the ones that I use. I use the Air Optics, been using them for years, absolutely love them. I've already repurchased, of course, and I will continue to repurchase. I love these. This was something that I got from, um, what is it, Shop Miss A, and these are wizard pads, and they're actually nail polish remover pads with cuticle oil, and these are acetone-free, and these were actually pretty good. This is nice to take on the go, like you take the little container, and you have like little pads with, with you know, like nail polish remover, and you don't have to worry about carrying a bottle of nail polish remover or whatever, and it's nice because they were acetone-free, and they had a little bit of cuticle oil, so every time I would use this, Obviously, my nails would stay, like, greasy around the cuticle, but, you know, that's kind of healthy. So, these were pretty good. I would recommend them, and they were only a dollar, so might as well. Finally, Lord, thank you. I used up the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, um, the Dark Circle Eraser. It's all used up. I hated this thing so much. I don't know, I just can't stand it. The only like concealers that I really have loved have been NARS Creamy Concealer and Maybelline Dream Lumi. That's it. This thing, I hated it. I did not like it. I think the sponge tip is like super disgusting. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but I did not like this at all. I know a lot of people rave about it, and I think this is supposed to go in my project pan, so after this, I'm gonna like put it back because <laughs> this is gonna go in my project pan for the end of the year. I also used up this like little sample of Yes to Grapefruit Facial Scrub and I got this like on sale I think at Target and it was a pretty nice scrub. It made the skin feel like super refreshed. It smelled like grapefruit. I really really liked it and enjoyed it and it's paraben free. It's a natural product so and it's supposed to boost radiance on your face. I don't really know if I saw that or not but I do know that when I used it I felt my face refreshed and nice and awesome so I liked it a lot I love it when I use up lotions you guys know my, my my deal with lotions right this is the Aveeno daily moisturizing lotion and this is just like the big thing I know my husband gets these at Costco I hate this lotion not I just don't like it I don't like the smell it smells like like rubber I don't know what it is I don't like the smell I do like Aveeno, but I don't like this one specifically. I don't like the smell. I don't like the lotion. I don't like anything. My husband loves this thing. So he buys, like, the packs that come in, too. And it's so hard to use it at the end because once you get to, like, the end, like, there's still, a, like, a handful of lotion in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's, like, a handful of lotion in there that I cannot use because this little stick thing doesn't go all the way to the end. So I can't get the rest out unless I'm, like... So I'm like, okay, this is enough. This going in my empties. I'm done. I have enough bottles of lotion everywhere. <laughs> so I'm happy about this. I used up another Vichy Laboratories Durgos Technique. 
and this is the anti-dandruff shampoo guys this is the love of my life ever since i saw that video that ellie did which is elko elko nyc or elko i think she's elko okay when Ellie did that video, I was like so skeptical and I was like, yeah, right. This is probably like just something that's gonna, cause remember I've lived all my life with this, just like her, you know? My scalp will flare up every so often and all this stuff. And I swear to you guys, like I swear to you, I am not lying, I am not nothing. I'm not sponsored, I wish, by these people because I freaking love them, but I'm not. So guys i swear to you that ever since i started using this thing at least from like day two that's it i didn't need any more days maybe somebody that has a little bit more stubborn like psoriasis or dandruff needs a little bit more days but it definitely works guys like i have not had a flare-up i have not had dandruff i have not had nothing since i've been using this and i've been using this is i've already had my third bottle i'm on my third bottle now so that tells you how many months I've been using this for. This is freaking amazing. No product ever on the market. And this isn't even from here, from the US. This is from, from France. It's from France. It's made in France. Guys, oh my God. I swear, France, you're the best. You're awesome. You're amazing. Nobody has ever been able to make something that works except this. Like... I just can rave and rant about this all day long, I swear to you. Found another pod thing. I knew I had another one. This is the Gain Flings um, in Moonlight Breeze. I don't remember if these were good or not. I think they were okay. I think the Tropical Sunrise ones are better. Unbelievably enough, I have a candle. <laughs> the only reason why I have a candle is because this was a gift from one of the moms of my preschool class last year. And it says, please excuse the mess the children are making memories. And this is a scented candle. What does this smell like? Maybe like lavender, like 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 powder, baby powder. I don't even know. Um, does it say here? Let me see. No, it doesn't say. Hold on. No, it doesn't say what it smells like. It does smell good inside here. Like, as you, as I've always told you guys, once I burn candles, all I smell is smoke. So I'm not a fan of candles. I'm more a fragrance oil girl. So, yes, but I did put it in the bathroom, and I've used it up. So I'm glad that I'm getting rid of this now. I used up, finally. These are already, like, really thick and kind of, like, what is it, dried up or whatever. Some top coats. And this is Sally Hansen Mega Shine top coat. And this one is Sally Hansen Double Duty Base and Top Coat. So they're both pretty good. And I already used that one up, and I bought a new one. I think it's an OPI one. I used up another lotion, and this is from The Honest Company. This is the face and body lotion, and this is like a little travel, uh, what do you call it, travel sample size. And this is Nourishing, Calming, and Hydrating Moisturizer. And I really did like this. I would definitely like to repurchase a bigger size of this. The Honest Company has amazing products. I really like their shampoo, their body wash. I like their lotion. I like their dryer cloths. I really want to... Um, buy their dryer cloths again because those really work well with your your clothes in the dryer so that just made that this, this thing just made me like ding 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 buy dryer cloths so yeah this was really good I really enjoyed it and I would definitely consider buying another one and you know that that's a lot to say because you know I'm not a lotion girl I'm really lazy for lotion so once I'm like done with every single lotion that I have <laughs> I will consider buying this one because it's really good. I used up a Honest Shampoo and Body Wash. And this was the 2-in-1 Hydrating and Nourishing Cleanser. And this is in Sweet Orange Vanilla. This was very good. I used this for my boys. And this was like a little travel size thing. This was actually in the hotel when we went to Legoland. And I loved that the hotel used Honest Company things. I got both of these um, at that hotel. And this is very, very good. The Honest Company has very good products. So I would definitely buy this again for my boys especially. I, I think I like it better than the Johnson & Johnson. And you guys know that Johnson & Johnson was kind of holy grail. I used up a Sensodyne Extra Whitening Toothpaste. And this is toothpaste for sensitive teeth and cavity prevention. And it's maximum strength with fluoride. And obviously, this is dentist recommended. Um, I don't really have sensitive teeth. My husband does, though. 
So we've he's always used this ever since. I used to work at a dental office like many years back, and my dentist would always recommend this to him, and he's been using this ever since, and I just go ahead and use whatever he's using, and we've been using that, this. I used up these vitamins. This is the Brock Beauty Hairfinity Healthy Hair Com Complex, and it's a dietary supplement, and it's for healthy hair. And my husband bought these because his hair is like very thin and he thought that he was like, it was thinning out even more. So he's like, I need a vitamin. So he got the, he got like a really good deal or something like that. And so he got two bottles for him and two bottles for me. And I already used up this one. And I, I would say it's pretty good. And you know what? Actually, it is. I don't know why I kept thinking that this was also for nails. So I'm here like looking at my nails. Um, nothing's happening with my nails. But it's actually only for hair. And I actually think that it's it's actually made my hair grow a lot, to tell you the truth. So I'm thinking that this is really, really good. Used up a Secret Clinical Strength Invisible Solid Completely Clean Deodorant. And this is like the white. This, this deodorant is good. I love the Secret brand, and this smells really, really good. So that's that, and we have like a bunch of deodorants because I've gotten them from like Pinch Me and from Influencer and from, I don't know if Buzz Agent has sent me any, but I do, I'm like overstocked with deodorant, so I'm good. And only two more things to go, guys. I you also used up these like diet pills, and these are supposed to be a high performance fat burner. Now, I don't know if it was that this didn't do anything to me or that I was doing something wrong. This is the Achieving Zero Advanced. And I know a lot of people that have lost weight with this and it has functioned really well for them. But I don't I don't feel like it really did anything special to me. Like I think I lost five pounds maybe in the first week and then after that nothing happened. So I, and I took them for like a whole entire month. So I was kind of like very sad about that because you know taking pills is like you got to, like, really know what the hell you're taking. You know, it's, like, really difficult to just, like, take pills. So, um, but, yeah, they didn't work on me. I don't know if, I don't, I don't think I can give you any in-depth review because they were just, like, pills that you would take once a day. I actually didn't feel anything. They didn't um, make me feel sick or anything like that. I do have a friend that she only took one and she, like, lost it that day. She was, like having heat flashes like this isn't good for everyone like you really have to make sure that like you're healthy or that your doctor approved that you could take this stuff because sometimes fat burners and diet pills are like very dangerous so just make sure before you take anything like this and the last thing is the curly sexy hair curling cream and i absolutely love this thing guys and um this took me a while to use up I still have some of the foam which is like the mousse thing and this cream was awesome my hair ever since like high school does not curl the same I don't know if it's because when I started dyeing it I don't know what but my hair does not curl the same at all my hair is the type of hair that's wavy naturally so if you want it straight it'll go straight and if you want it curly it'll go curly you just got to put product and make it look nice well i used to be able to just like put mousse and gel and a little bit of hairspray and my hair would curl beautifully i don't know what happened but never again has it curled the same and i have like looked everywhere for my hair to like curl to like look nice and anything I put and nothing ever works and this is the only thing that has gotten the closest to working that I like because it's not like I have to put a lot for it to like work how I like my hair to be because I don't like looking like freaking Mufasa from the Lion King okay so I try to like you know make my hair look curly but nice and this was the only thing that like got close to that you know but it could still be better so I'm like god but oh well all right, guys. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was the last product for my empties. I actually did have a lot of stuff. I didn't think I had this much stuff in here. I thought it was more like the in-wash boosters and that stuff. But I did have a lot of stuff, actually. So I'm very happy about that because that means I'm using my products. So that's it. Let me stop rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys. And I will see you next time, my loves. Bye, my loves.